Climate change is moving faster than we think, and rural communities are feeling the heat, literally. According to the latest IPCC report, human activities have already pushed global temperatures by 1.1 degrees centigrade compared to the pre-industrial levels. And here's the kicker. We're on track to hit or even surpass 1.5 degrees centigrade within the next two decades, maybe even sooner. This rise in temperatures is driving more extreme weather events. Heat waves are becoming hotter and lasting longer. Seasons are shifting and water cycles are intensifying. The result, more frequent and severe droughts and flooding. These changes are hitting agriculture hard, especially for rural communities who depend on it to survive. Rising temperatures and extreme weather are making it tougher to grow crops, raise livestock, or sustain fish production. For many, it's not just their livelihood, it's their survival at stake. But here's the thing, climate change doesn't affect everyone equally. While it's a global crisis, some countries, communities, and individuals are far more vulnerable. Even within rural areas, the impact isn't the same for everyone. Resources, access to services, and social inclusion vary widely, leaving many at a disadvantage. Take poverty, for example. It's already a daily struggle for many rural households, and climate change only makes things worse. Add food insecurity, weak markets, and poor institutions to the mix, and you've got a recipe for disaster. And then there are the structural inequalities. Wealth gaps, gender disparities, and age-related challenges make it even harder for certain groups to cope well with climate stress. For instance, extreme weather events like floods or heat waves hit poor and female-headed households much harder. This deepens income gaps and limits opportunities for inclusive growth. And climate shocks also have a knock-on effect on investments. When farmers face repeated losses from droughts or floods, they hesitate to invest in their farms or try new technologies. Instead, they focus on short-term survival, which traps them in a cycle of low productivity and vulnerability. Small-scale farmers, especially those relying on rain-fed agriculture, are particularly at risk. Changing weather patterns are making rainfall less reliable, and without access to improved seeds, fertilizers, or technology, their productivity stays low. Most of what they grow is for their own use, leaving little to sell or save. The solutions? They're in the policies, but only if we act. Policies that look good on paper need to translate into real action. Rural communities need better access to resources, services, credit, and insurance. These are the tools that will help them build resilience and adapt to a rapidly changing climate. This is an urgent challenge, and how we respond will determine the future of the most vulnerable among us. For the full story by Nasser Ali Panwar in Dawn's Business and Finance Weekly, click the link in the description below.